Hey everyone, it's Gab. If you enjoy the YouTube content, you might also enjoy watching me on Twitch. You can find the links in the description down below. And I hope you all enjoy this video. Great hands. Coppers in hand, so you have to keep. Peter's hands not that good, but. Who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that? Creativity? No, they went insect on turn along. But just. Still main something. They don't have Chiganta though. It's just blue red. Oh, it's probably Prowse because they're playing foothills. They wouldn't have wait ring. Huh. Oh, um, this could be the like a deck? breach deck. Yeah, no. it's breach. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Basic swamp, worst possible draw. Where where are our cling to dusts? We need our third. Thing to dust here. To Don, please. Any surveillance in the deck? I actually thought about that right uh, before you submitted point. the deck. Yeah, but we're also not playing fetch lands. Yeah, right? we're just, just playing for trolls. trolls. Yeah, it doesn't seem worth it. Coffers, Gap's favorite card. Oh, what do you say? Oh, because of the other day when we were playing the 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 smallpox version of the spike deck and he had the one coffers is living in a fishly dead living in mango five the other day i'm sure you some of you saw the band played the, like, who the oh, fuck is that guy the regular band list has been doing well i guess i was surprised i thought it i thought living in would kind of fall off pretty hard and it's actually been so decent all right if they hit i'm screwed they did not Guys are bidding the Emery's when they have the grinding station in Graveyard. I guess they're still looking for a breach. Yeah. Somehow, they don't have Delirium. Thank God, we can Bone Master that. Yeah, I'm not sure that's going to be enough. But... I should put Does anyone know what green is for in these lists now pick your poison maybe yeah maybe sideboard goalie right, yeah pick your poison it's usually a green splash how many basics in there I just pitched a troll in March. They spell pierce usually, right? What would you do here? I don't know if they play spell pierce. Actually, yeah, they probably do. Um, Who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that? It's still just been binning every time with DRC, right? Yeah. So they're probably still looking for. Um, they they play Shaga 100% too, right? Sometimes they do, some don't. So just put fuel over in and say go. Um. Yeah, probably. Save damnation to get like two creatures, maybe. Come. Mm -hmm. Now marching the ragged man kind of sucks. Can we just take it and then march the DRC and not attack? Yeah, either that or March plus on tab damnation, but then we have nothing left. Just don't feel a ruin to give them spell pierce. Yeah. Oh yeah, right, that's true. I definitely don't feel the ruin now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to let troll not on me too either. Playing the field might have been wrong just because of the coffers. But... Yeah. Backfire. I was thinking if they play Nerva Saga, it's like, might just be able to do it right away. Something has changed, I feel, about the U.S. Or the way, like, this looks when it goes to end of turn, I don't know, for some reason, something feels a lot. Why four tutors and just two edicts? 
I think Tutor is just really good in that deck in general. As long as you're not getting got by Teferi, that card is just so, so... You don't actually have that much action in this deck, right? It's like just Karn, basically. And Ring, I guess. Yeah, and also you're not playing maps so you, to find your coffers combo. It's like... It's getting kind of scary, because there's a few cards. Boxy's Bowmaster, or what else? Just play a troll in a couple turns. Dude. Oh. Well, your hand sucks, so it doesn't really matter. That is true. Um, Maybe just field both of their lands right now. So please field one. Turn it up, basic mountain down. But they might just have two basics. Do it for when I draw a card this time. I guess I'm going to, but it's maybe not in free color. Okay. Yeah. Small there we go. <laughs> the small lens. Looking dashed by Ragvan. We need to do is draw our best card. Cling to that. <laughs> or Karn. Or Ring. Nice to get rid of this one. Yeah, literally anything. Huh? Play around Spell Pierce, doing it for. I'm scary at any point if they draw a break for just dead, right? I'm very, very dead to breach. Uh, looks like it. Placed on top. Yard memory. Okay. Rage. No. Nope. Okay. No. Oh, uh, Maybe with the you march. might be able to get them with the march if they like. Uh, don't order things correctly. If they try to like play the emery before they play their mox amber. Yeah, yeah. like th this might work out. Can't they just recast them, right? Uh, no. If they're gonna, they're gonna play the grinding station now. Okay. And then when they play the grinding station, you just kill the Emery, and I don't think they can um, win this turn. But they haven't played a lane yet, right? Yeah, they haven't. So I kill it now. You think I have to? Uh. Okay, so if you kill it now, they need to have an untapped land. And then they can play Emery again and play. But if I play it, it just gets worse, right? Yeah, so you want to do it now. And I don't think there's. Yeah, you do want to play around Spell Pierce here. Yeah, double Spell Pierce. Well, double Spell Pierce would leave them unable to continue without untapped lands as well. Well, they did have. So isn't that enough to make Mox? No, no, they, they just need the untapped lands. Because mm -hmm. cause playing the Emery or playing the Ragavan is mana neutral here. And they only have two mana. They need two mana for the grinding station. Mm -hmm. So they need an untapped land here. Or like a way to sack the Mox Amber. I don't think they have any such thing. Wait, did I just... Miscount? Yeah, I was thinking it's like I said, not enough. That's grinding station, right? All right, that's just game rights. Yeah, I guess. It is. Yeah. I need that third cling to dust. Yeah. Yeah, play lines good enough. Did we see Saga? I mean, you should have let them out. I think we saw Saga. It's out of these field of rooms, anyways. Any ley lines that I want? Did see a Haywire Mite, which makes me think that there is Saga. Yeah. Do I want to do two ley lines, two cling, or all ley lines, no cling? Right, don't have to fairy, which is nice. Just like this, I guess. Maybe keep it in one dimension because we have two. 
think I'd rather have one cling than damnation. I want 60. I could not do all the ley lines. Do you want deadly cover up? Maybe think to two or four is not bad in case I don't have ley line in my opening hand. Then I have Karn that gets crypt. Which card did you say that I want? Deadly cover up. Oh. Maybe the effect to like. Second herb works kind of dead, but I guess the rest of the hand is. Dang. Just have two, just because I have two herb org, it is kind of like almost a straight up mulligan, right? I have no ways to use them. Oh. The next for me, I'll load a spell. So you have ways good. to like deal with a uh, ragavan. Yeah. Also, like gives me like the force me right to cast a ring or a card in the land short. Who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that? A Don wow. plays forcing a thought seize. What the? They have a Ragavan and they really want to keep it. Yeah, so pretty yeah. Ready. <laughs> kill that Ragavan like immediately. Force. I think there's a good chance they don't have a second land. Maybe they do. But... That would make sense. Yeah. Do basic, they drew one under basics. That's a little scary. Is it? I guess that well, makes since we have scary. all our discard spells, it's not that scary. But... Here's one, one time where a surveil end would have been good. Yeah. Game one too. I mean surveil end just for street trolls is worth it is. Why don't you play more coin targets artifact in the side? So we have a lot, right? Don't we have like ten? You know, nine? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's like pretty stock. Usually people have like ten ish targets and then have void walker or a ley line. Could also play some fetch lands. We do play Fatal Push and uh can help fuel the escape on into dust yeah yeah that would be kind of cool and before like for surveillance <laughs> it's just stock <laughs> it is a pretty good surveillance deck like you're kind of like drawing your cards one at a time and need things to come together and Thoughts on the new black card, Insatiable Avarice. I'm not a believer. It could be good, but I think it's a little too awkward and not powerful enough to make up for the, the awkward casting cost. What is that card? It's like triple black, draw three cards, you lose three life. Five mana, put a card on top of your deck. Oh. And it's like free. It's like one no. black. Then it's like plus two black plus something, you know, for this free cost. Ooh, can take them off green. I don't but know if that does anything, but green. probably not. Probably. There's still a small chance of signing. Yeah, so effectively the card is either triple black draw free, you lose free. You can also target your opponent in like a super sign in blood. Or five mana, you put a card on top, you tutor a card on top, and you do the the draw free effect, man. They're have drawn pretty, pretty good. If they surveil to top, you could field. Oh, yeah. They didn't know. And then for free mana, you can just do the Vam Tutor effect and it's sorcery. Oh, did I mess up? Did they surveil last, last turn too? No. They fetched a surveil land. Or they just played a surveil land. I'm not sure. Am I supposed to cover up getting rid of like Emery? I guess they still have Emery stops kind of stops them from looping, yeah. What what was their choice on Preordain? Uh they put Bubble in the graveyard. Maybe I should get rid of Bubble? That's the best what's the best card for their breach? The top two this time though. 
I guess we can't collect evidence six. Oh wait, we can. We have twelve. One, two, Never mind. Yeah. Troll is nice. I played a, a build with Skullrap up and I didn't have troll, and this deck was actually really bad at collecting evidence early. Hitting Bobble is pretty good. Hitting Emery is pretty good. They're just smart for now, or they're one card that's I think I would trade the the Urborg for the DRC. Good cover up. Good cover up DRC. That one's pretty good with Breach too. What happens if they find Breach and we get rid of Bobble? Then they can Emery pretty scary, I guess, because they could self mail the uh... They can play it, but it costs two mana for the Emery. No, because they would have to our... Oh yeah, breach right. Breach. Well, they can play the bubble first. If, if we get rid of the bubbles. Oh yeah. Two mana breach. Two mana emery. They need to get a little lucky. They have. I... Well, they have another. Emery. I mean, it has to be bubble, right? Or else they just self mail bubble until they find the. It's like mox, right? So but then, how do they turn on the mox? They have ragaman. That makes red mana. If they're playing, we should have let them. Well, they kill don't us. need. They don't need it, right? Because they have three extra mana after playing breach, so they'll have the mana to cast Oracle. Um. Right. So we have to get rid of the bottles. Yeah, I think so. Morning, Ted. Five thirty-one on the dot. Like between. 28 and 532. It's got a little variance. How are you doing? How's everyone doing? Also, Adam plays. <laughs> of course, it was Bubble. I have another DRC. Okay, so. They really have like zero. Okay, two Saga. That makes sense. Two Saga, two Ring, one Oracle. Are they totally off of Besaju? No, they have a they breeding have one, pool. They have one Besaju. They have a breeding pool they can fetch that can cast it and they can make treasures. So they don't have any spell pierce. The Oracle is their win condition. But a Pithing Needle. And a Saga. Only two Sagas. Why did their Force Bubble like it's only played for Lady Trent? Oh, not a bubble. I missed in the yard right now. Breach is still pretty bad. They get like a really big value breach. <laughs> yeah, they get like pre ordain, pre ordain, pre ordain. Like DRC into a bunch of pre ordains. Yeah. I feel like I never beat this deck. Lifetime, I feel like my record against it is just a bit small. <laughs> just need to draw Karn. Karn, uh, yeah, my crypt. Is really bad. <laughs> Go easy. Just Karn Crypt or Yeah, you can also take them off uh Delirium so your Karn doesn't die. Oh yeah, I was gonna say because yeah. then my coin dies, which sucks. I guess they probably sag their but can't sag the grinding stage. No, they can sack the oh yeah. Right, they can't because of Karn. They need on holy heats. Also, the last list I played somehow did have Crypt in the cycle, and I was like, oh? Is this what it feels like to be white listed? <laughs> I refuse to entertain a comment. I'm really unlucky to see me go only, only win I could get was Dubai on, on Sunday in the Pioneer Showcase. Just no good matchups. And then I looked at the top eight, and the top eight of the showcase was like all Phoenix and Amalia and Lotus. And of course, no, that was some red black, but not a ton. Some back alley deals going on in chat here. It's because Bobsy <laughs> is doing his streamers event. I don't know if he's talking about it. He's doing like a special uh, stream. Next month. Oh, okay. I'm gonna be one of the guests. Not a drip bolt. All right. Back to what's their last card in here? Oh wow. 
Get the needle. And they got delirium, but uh, they attacked first. They have no more basics, and killing breeding pool takes them off of the Seiju forever. I guess, except yeah, but, for treasure tokens. Yeah, but they have Saga. I need to save it for Saga. Just kill memory rights. They milled one Saga, that means they have one left in their deck. So what? Yeah, but Bas I don't care about the Seiju, right? I guess. Anyways, you can just kill that, right? Take them off the needle. Much better top decks than me now. Well, that's better top decks than have more. Another Karn, a ring, cling to dust would be good. I think I'm for it. Did we bring back in one cling? Mm, no, I think it was the 61st card. Oh yeah, all these stupid ley lines I can draw. <laughs> it's not it's not terrible. You can just Classic play one. ley line. I'm gonna I'm gonna lose because the ley line I'm gonna draw is not a cling to dust. Should have listened. You should have been like, yeah, please. Uh thought these first. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, no. wait. I don't have script anymore. Um, so you plus, you go to six, then you go down to three, then you minus, and you get ring? Or you just minus and get ring and let it die? I, I don't know. This plus. Get bridge. No shot. Or plus. Disconnected. Bad Bunny trying to sabotage us. We're gonna 1v1 Geo B Hopsy. Is that the plan? You're gonna crush me. Did you already announce when it was? I think you have, right? Does Chalice on one kill them? Yeah, he texts me about this. Chalice on one. They have a Sage who the white version usually doesn't care that much because they usually have to fairy and personatic ending. But this version. I don't think Chalice on one really does much of anything want here. Chalice on zero usually to sub the combo is good, or Chalice on two maybe if you can. But we took all their baubles and they have a lot of mana here, so they can kind of just like go breach, Emery, Emery, and then like maybe just play the Thazas Oracle or you know, something along those lines. I might just get explosives if they break. Just get rid of the DRC. A bridge next turn is not the actual worst. All right, they're back. First totem. I could stone bring Oracle too, I guess. To them with like one side guy and some creatures to kill me. Well, that puts me in top deck mode, which. I still think you kind of get wrecked by breach anyway. Oh, right, right, right. So it's just like play yeah. iteration and, and then play a couple bolts. creatures. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I could just stone brain the actual breach. I don't know, I'm silly. Stone brain breach looks pretty good, actually. You just need to not die to this DRC and like a couple uh, Ragavans or something. Jeez. Oh, oh, that sucks. Can they just kill us here? They can bolt Karn twice and. One, two, three, one, two. Uh, not, not quite. I mean, they need to get really unlucky. But they can bolt card once, then they play Pitting Needle, then they play Emery for one, then they play another Emery for one. They can play Emery like three or four times looking for Mox Amber. It seems like the matchup's going to be so easy. Also, Leyline's so good against them. Um, Stike stops the entire deck. Maybe yeah, I should have mulligan that hand because they didn't have Leyline and had double or more because like enough to mulligan. But they don't have enough cards in graveyard to play Pitting Needle first. That's helpful. That means they can only play Emery. Lip on. I'm 
Okay. But that ley line looks pretty bad. I, you can see, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, they, I guess they have a lot of ways to get rid of Karin. It's hard to stick a Karin, the iteration. We do kind of probably, we never had the coppers combo. Get a ley line, didn't get a claim game one. Should have, should, should maybe keep the claim, worst case you claim your own stuff. Yeah. Blue black male in modern has a historically bad win rate. It's just kind of a bad deck. So unlikely. What the rain leader? Double ether vial. Okay. That thing provides value too. Whenever it or another goblin dies, I draw the top card to put Mikael the card until the end of your next turn. It's gotta be ringleader, right? You can just bow master that thing. Yeah. With my guess, it's Adon, please. Adam. Hello. <laughs> what are you still Chalky Adam on Twitch right now? Or yep, that's my uh my handle. Still chocolate. Have not changed my name to Adon, please yet. Which? Where are all my emotes? Where Seven TP. Which emotes? Let's see. Y'all had emotes. Which emotes have you made? Do you remember? You can uh, put exclamation point chalky emotes. I think that shows all of them. Where do I type this here? Yeah. Don't think I missed any. Oh yeah, you did the uh, uh, my favorite. Y'all had arrived. The pigeon, the animated pigeon emotes. The white gap. I also have a Christmas version of the white gap. Oh, white yeah. Gap happy. <laughs> True. Yeah, I did say I was, it was going to be my next project was to make male great again. Or make male great. McGabber was a moment of inspiration, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Which one's your favorite? Do you not have favorites, like? Um... I'm biased towards pigeons because it took a long time for me to make. Because, yeah, uh, I like the pigeon I'm, pog one. Too. Yeah, pigeon pog is good. Pigeon it's a great face. They're all pretty great. The random. The walker <laughs> one kind of like I don't I just don't like that meme in general. <laughs> you like, don't like the soy jack. Yeah, no. <laughs> but I don't not casting it. You all have pigeons and Maggie. I don't know. Maggie ever makes me a little uncomfortable too. I think it's like a little weird, but it's, you know, it's fine. It's a little too like ego egotistical, I guess, in some ways. I've also made a number of canister emotes. Oh yeah. I mean, also there are some of the most disturbing ones. <laughs> like, are are you subbed to canister? Yeah. Okay. Then so we can do the autocomplete. Let's see if you have complete. So. The animated gut are. No, it was actually this one, just without the colors. The Tiny Rave. Tricky. Yeah, maybe. This one, yeah. No, we, we didn't post. Good old Connie <laughs> Rave. <laughs> XDD, I think. I like crazy that thinking this looks different than they used to. I don't know. I don't play enough MTGO. I have to go back and watch some old. I thought that what's changed, but some... I think it's the font that's kind of changed, maybe. Or maybe there's like the caps. Behopsy yeah, is pretty good in what's too. Thanks to Fuji. Behopsy is just easily. Emotable. They're killing my munition. Doesn't even matter, I think. They don't really draw cards, right? It's one card. I'll do. Goblin Major, a pretty good one, too. When, until when can they cast it? Next turn, so. It's gonna start getting ugly. They can go. Matron was the ether vial, get a ring later, and you're all one for one. Did 
Did they change some fonts a bit? Yeah. I feel like I'm more likely to click through the end step because I felt like the end step thing was more noticeable to me or it looks different. Would you try CDH that it's out of MTGO? That's what like just competitive EDH is the best kind of. Yeah, I mean, there's a law or a tournament or something, a reason to play CDH. Is that, that's what I played on the, it's like Brawl, right? On the arena, it's just a hundred card, you have a commander. It's just commander, there's, yeah. there's just commander, but you're trying to win. Yeah, I was playing a Rafine deck on arena. What's the best commander right now? Um, I'm not sure, but uh, like a consensus is like Keenan is one of the best. Keenan Bonder Prodigy, the one that makes all your artifacts tap for one extra mana. Is that the commander only cards? No. Keenan. Oh, the two two four two the one that we yeah. did combo. Oh, okay. It's good because you play a lot of mana rocks. And then it's cheap, so it enables a lot of... There's, like, a lot of nonsense in the format. There are these, like, free counter spells that are free as long as you control a commander. Yeah. So having a cheap commander gives you access to that really easily. That's, that's the combo with the, uh, the Snoop. Yeah, I know. So they tutor... Or Kiki GQ, or do you need, how does it work? Do they need yeah. Snoop? They need Snoop in play and not summoning sick. So, can I play a ring with just Fatal Push Up and not die? Or I think so. Yeah. Ring probably. Okay, let's hope. So, it just saves me from dying. I don't know. Can they do it at instant speed? I'll do it at instant speed. They can if they have their files up, but they have one on three. Yeah, and I, I'll and get to on tap with all the field push to on my turn. Yeah, Chrom and Timna are also like possibly the best. Rograk Silas is good, but probably not as good as Chrom and Timna. Yeah, there are a few different routes. Like Keenan just makes a bunch of mana, and its ability can put a bunch of nonsense into play, and then yeah. you can also combo with uh, the Salt Monolith. <laughs> then uh, Chrom and Timna are just the best colors, everything but green, and they just draw cards, essentially. Well, that's... What does Chrom and Timna do? Is that the one, the blue run? Oh, no. I thought it was one card. No, it's a partner pair. All right, there's partner commanders. Yeah, I think CDH, it's like not a very competitive scene. There, there is like sort of a competitive scene. Yeah. But there are a few people who are just really dominant right now. So that makes me think that like uh, the the skill level has not you know, risen enough. But like Sam Black wins every pre-modern tournament is a different deck every yeah. time. Yeah, exactly. But like every time Brian Koval plays a CDH tournament, he like wins or, or makes a top four. Yeah. And there's a there's a guy named Ian who wins like all of them. But it has some weird politics in the format. Oh, politics? How so? Um, so you can sort of like very quickly make temporary alliances and break them just because like uh, you, know, you end up in a situation where one person's going to win yeah. and you need two people to sort of combine to stop it. Mm -hmm. But then once they're stopped, then the turn comes to you and like the person who was your ally before suddenly has to becomes your enemy they like ally yeah. with someone else to temporarily stop you i don't know it's a strange format do you like it um sometimes it's a lot better when you That's play with people you know yeah. and there are a lot of sort of unspoken rules like uh, uh speaking of 
the canister a Krillin go. He was playing a Naya Titan. Welcome everyone. Is Elish Nor in stock now? We've got Adante with us today. You two, you're Krillin. Hmm. Hmm. That's not bad about it. Mm. Is it a, was it in a C four O? Am I getting a CDH now? Hi, cancer. Hi. Very soft-spoken. Resub message. Two losses in count. Yeah, so in the C four O. Understood. Yeah, so, so the main problem I have with CEDH is that you are partially reliant on the skill level of the other people yeah. at the table. If other people have really poor risk assessment, mm -hmm. it can, uh, like, even if you play perfectly, you know, your, your good plays can get you screwed over. Well, then you have to adjust fight poker, right? If you know they're, if it's hard to know how they're going to react. Sort of, but but sometimes like the poor risk assessment will just let another player win, and you can't stop them yourself. Yeah, it's like playing risk, right? Do you want to kill that one over like Spirit Prospector? I'm just clicking it right now. I saw a two one. I killed the biggest one. Yeah, <laughs> if I think that's a two one, I'll kill. kill the uh, you can block. Yeah, I can also just block. This game's for just over. Be wrong. Lord Beerus has been straining a few leagues of C but isn't CDH 1v1? No, it's four player. Oh, okay. What's the name of the 1v1 format? It's like competitive, it's just like singleton kind of or brawl. It's like dual commander. Mm, I don't think so. Which I think which is actually I think like started in France. Okay, okay, yeah. it's dual. Canadian Highlander is not what we're talking about. That's like a weird commander with a point system. Develop commander for French families, Centurion for Italian. Uh, can't get. And we, we need to stop all these commander variants so we can figure out what the hell is going on. Hey, one day I'll just be a commander player. I never know. I don't know what happens. When you're even older and grumpier and... No, but I've been thinking, like... The scene is not what it used to be. They could make the PT commander format. It's the most popular format. They could make it more commander-like. Like, dual com it could be dual commander. Yeah, the dual commander is, like, potentially a competitive format. Yeah. If, if wizards were to tune it. But four player, I don't think, can ever be a competitive format. No. But... All the tutor is very useful. What's their last card in the game? Four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Could start by clinging our own fatal push. Yeah, have or do we want to gain life? We need to gain life to survive. We don't need mud. We don't need to do much. I could just say play coffers and say go. We can maybe suspend one. Oh, we actually have 10 mana then. I don't even need to suspend it here. I'm just worried they can fizzle my. They can fizzle my march somehow. I could just go down to. Take the four and then go down to two. Didn't talk to me my bow answer to me, I'll just do that for now. That's our last card. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Summoning sick though. Yeah. I mean even if it wasn't, but yeah. Can I advise how deliberate Gab makes decisions in non-MTG matters like restaurants. Oh, he he knows how to make decisions. We're, we're going to this restaurant, 
Oh, I'm actually Go there. I'm actually usually not that. Like, I'm pretty getting me pretty. And that was like, he's like, order this. You should order this. <laughs> that was the way you I ordered the soup play. I I usually <laughs> I usually think way more on what I ordered. <laughs> that was like minimal. That was like very uh, unlike me. What you saw today at the restaurant? Because I I kind of was like I felt like everything every except for the dessert I knew what it's gonna get, but. Le pain perdu. Le pain perdu. Either way, I just want to. I just want an herb or two. Some farmers want to. Your coppers are tapping for two right now. So. Oh, you don't want them to draw the kiki. Oh. I guess I didn't think about that. I just thought about it. it's like plus one mana because that free copper is. Well, now they're drawing mana. That's even better. <laughs> even better for us. Garbage time. Yeah, seriously. Well, if they draw a matron, though, it's not going to be garbage time. They can go matron into ringleader into a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna let them know. Just pushing a one free for no reason. Surely I'm I'm due. I mean I just have Karn right for his case next turn. Karn oh, so for one. to your streamer, O oh, Valley of Twitch chat, O oh, Valley of Twitch the chat. What? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Petition to perma purge Adam from chat KTHXBYE. What's the KTHXBYE, yeah, Adam? <laughs> well, thank you for the five bucks. Appreciate it. Oh, K, K, thanks. Okay. Oh, Monkey says, "What's Nasif win? Nasif's win condition? You, my I friend, must not know what Yellow Hat very well. This is not a guy who brings win conditions." Where's my what? Stream alert stock. What do you mean? On OBS. You gotta go to docs. Yeah. Oh no no, it's this one. It's right Twitch here, activity but feed. The, it's like you know how I tell you the, the donation. I guess I never really tried that hard, but I also never oh. figured out why. It's... Well, if you're using stream. Patience from Zoe. Like waiting in the wing. Now yeah, he's about to be caught. Oh, there's the sleep. The sun. He catches everyone. Oh, this could be a total disaster. Back him in. Ravage on everyone. The black hole as well. Right of it. Turns it around. Ravage as well. Stop. Stolen by Dendier. Yeah, I hate when it gets in these spots and I don't know what to do with my Zelda. Just like, come on, now you just get Mycos and Lattice, and <laughs> that's it. What do I even get? Arm coil? I feel like, uh, I'm not a cityscape lever, leveler, kill somebody fast. Yeah, I like warm coil. They don't even have either vial to do anything crazy anymore. Do things by ice. Oh no, not a mod war marshal. Look at Cumian Shant and Copper's experts. Just gonna have to march for like 30. Probably still won't scoop. Oh my god. <laughs> this is why we had better really. Yo, crazy C man, thanks for the for years. Thanks for the prime. I mean, are you going to play Bellatro? I think you really enjoy it. I don't want another game to be, like, addicted to right now. <laughs> Maybe after the PT, I could give it a try. 
I don't get it. What's so fun about it? It doesn't look that fun. Uh, to be fair, I've never really watched it. I still don't know the rules yet. Have you tried Bellatro? No, I haven't tried like any of these. I haven't tried Slay the Spire. Dude, there's still a squid. Good. Could have animated the one ring. Doesn't change the oh it does it just kills them. <laughs> Never mind. Post combat. I've tried Hollow Knight, and I'm saving myself a Silk Song. Yeah, I tried Hollow Knight a little bit. Elantra is updated poker. I'm not really into poker though anymore. Have you ever played a Chess Two? What's Chess Two? The, the updated chess. <laughs> Is that a real thing or are you just making it up? No, I just find it funny the the, the statement updated poker. Uh, <laughs> have you been watching the candidates? No. I just watch uh Gotham chess videos. I don't like to listen to them talk about chess and watch the evolve bar and not move for hours on end, just in the middle. And then a couple hours in, they go, oh my gosh, this is our first non-book move of the game. <laughs> it does some drama, though. Apparently the French guy was mad because like, they didn't allow spectators and stuff, and there's like, a little drama around yesterday. Something about shoes. I don't know if anyone knows, but Edict doesn't seem that great, but Clang seemed kind of poor too. Could just bring in Cursed Totem instead of tutoring it. Does Leyline do anything? Leyline doesn't stop. No, Leyline doesn't really do anything. Doesn't stop their combo. What am I not going to tutor for? Was Karn, but that would be. Edict's gotta be the worst in cards. At least Clank cycles. I mean, Shieldred's Edict looks pretty bad. I'd probably bring in Cursed Totem. I might want to tutor for it, I don't know. I feel like it's a little greedy to, to be like, oh, I'm not gonna have to. Oh, we've got Tron. Natty Tron. <laughs> Finally. Turn on Aether Vial or else their next guess all playable. Blood Moon? Excuse me? Oof. Take the Snoop and then take the Blood Moon. Next turn. Of course, the first game I've had each on that Blood Moon. <laughs> You're trying to watch the candidates, but you're too new to follow the GMs and now dude, everyone. You think even like good chess players are probably like too new. They go so fast. I don't know how they stay so focused for like hours on end commenting poker or commenting the, the chat. I'm like, I'm so impressed, honestly. <laughs> I think that coffers Tron just being screwed on Yeah, okay, it's not the worst statement. Um, I guess I don't want to cycle the troll just yet. I didn't want to play the goblin right away. Okay. What does it do against whenever a goblin Control dies, you ping something, and then you can sack a goblin to make two goblin tokens. Yeah. So the plate was mana, it was four mana, but you get old value at least if I try to use a removal spell. Yeah, so if they play a uh, non token, well, edict them. I can take a draw step. Let's see. And now we'll just pass with Bowmaster and yeah. Edict up. Yeah, four mana. 
you rewatched the Queen's Gambit. Was it Chef? Good show. Yeah, I really was. I really like that show. Just a nice feel good show. When you look up at the ceiling and think, do you do you see all the lines that you're kind of gonna have a fire spell, force negation? <laughs> no, not quite. I'm not quite the... I'm sure it's some magic clarity that maybe but that show was really good. It was nice. Alright, so maybe I just march months for the max. Looks like they're gonna sack the Mog War Marshal. I thought that's what they're. I mean, if they don't have to pay the icon, then I can. So. Yeah. Or they could just let it die, I guess. But that doesn't make sense. You can just eat it to them for non token. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bolt to the face 4x. I see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you could just eat it to them here. Oh yeah, I can for non token. Just edict. And then Bowmaster. Yeah, that's probably better. You wake up and you see Fiali staring at you from the ceiling. I will have these, like, when you're falling asleep, you're half, half asleep and you have all these deck ideas. You're like, oh, yeah, that sounds really good. And you try to remember them in the morning and then it's always, like, super terrible that you know. Every night I go to sleep and... Putting things together, oh, this is the perfect Tamashi build. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> you wake up, and it's gone. But trust me, there's a modern breaking Tamashi build. I still have it built. I go over it and then I'm like, oh yeah, you can't be the Pro Master. Oh yeah, you can't be this. Oh yeah, you can't be Charm. Like, you need to stick a bit right now. And then, yeah. Can't have ads watching Gap test out unplayable OTJ Reanimator standard decks. <laughs> how did you know this one? I want to try. Hey, Jay Shearer. Not sure how much actual standard testing I'm going to do on stream, but we'll see. Either way, I appreciate the resub. Thanks for the six months. Um, I mean, it's just Joe Overwrite. Stream, yeah, I have a March. Is there anything I'm worried about? Just a haze creature. How many cards have in hand too? Uh, Ring Leader would be a bit annoying, but we can take them off the mana here. Can we? No, we can't cast Leveler or Titan yet. No. Maybe just, just, get, just get one ring. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Their files are off. Actually, you're gonna get the warm clothes. Opium living in builds. Yeah, probably gonna be a lot of draft this week. I didn't draft enough last time. I only did like two. Yo, Gab, yo, chat, what's cropping in? We're broke. Let's set emotes. Like, so yo. we have a yo emote now with a little cat. That's cute. How do you feel about the, the numbers of the sheer numbers of emotes we have on the yellow ass train now? Oh, well, after I called them a little bit, we're down to good numbers, I think. Oh, okay. Battle Not um, another calling. Yeah. I don't think we need another calling. That's pretty another good. purge. That's pretty pretty good shot for them. Too too many modes. Kinda wanna kill the two one. Oh yeah, okay. I could have done that. That's a sleep at the wheel classic. It's not paying a lick of attention. And if this doesn't draw land, I kind of want to kill the battle ring. Yeah, I will, yeah, for sure. Well, I guess, does it make more tokens right away? No. I don't need to do it right away with the ring protection. How's the score? Oh, yeah, why are we on the wrong scene? What did I do? 
Why did I click MT2 Arena? When did it happen? Or O1 up a game. We got extremely unlucky against Breach. Breach. Oh, did anyone try? I could have activated twice and made a token. Who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that? Let's shut down their ether vials, make sure there's no funny business. More clicking. Leveler. Here. Leveler or warm coil? Warm coil does gain us a bunch of life, but we have another ring anyway. Adam, please, question mark. So what's your question? White question mark. Man, that's a lot of work for a question mark about. <laughs> that's like taking it to the next level. <laughs> Could use the question mark key, but... Let me instead type a wall of text. But it did draw a ring leader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty good. And they had munition expert off it, which hits. Kills Karn. Uh, can we stop it from killing Karn? We can't. Oh, I mean, I can march. Uh, oh, yeah, we could march the ringleader. Maybe you should do that. Sure. Well, not now. Oh, yeah, now, now they can hit it for two. It's fine, I guess. And my son involved. And apparently your son now. <laughs> Twitch chat, don't be weird. Can't just ask Twitch chat not to be weird. Planets just unwilling to give up at any point. The goblins brackets. Am I Macron, president of France? Yes. <laughs> oh, that's close. Really close. I get to play tour stuff. Probably put Bring Leader on top again. We can field them. On Earth, we're just going to put a, we'll put a one drop too, just to get a free go. They do Torch Courier, give something haste. Now they can't attack through the leveler. I guess they do get to fizzle, or oh, like so, just kill it was pretty scary attacking. You can also still field them to shuffle the top. Yeah. That's a true round stack. They might just concede to this march. No, I mean, they, they didn't concede game two. He's got the clock in the red. Actually, you don't want to march the mob in here. You're going to march your own cityscape leveler. Yeah. For seven. Or six. I don't complain about them being slow. I'm like, I don't have time, but I feel like they. Oh, I could actually I could turn on the ring. Target the ring for a million. 
Oh yeah, that's true. It's indestructible. <laughs> was on top of it. Yeah. Get out. Know. Who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that? I need a baking expert. How's your baking game? I follow recipes and sometimes they turn out okay. I was wondering. Is that that good procure recipe? Who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> Who the fuck is that? Almond butter instead of flour and has like sugar, butter, and chocolate chip cookies basically. And I was wondering, I want to try the same recipe, but I want hazelnut in it. So I was wondering if I should like grind some. Who the fuck is that guy? What happened? Who the <laughs> fuck is that guy? <laughs> Okay. Ground hazelnut, and I can add also some hazelnut, like chopped, roughly chopped. It down myself, like. But what is the, what is the almond? Uh, I'll show you the powder actually doing. I don't know, but it turned out really delicious. Playing first, double discard bowmaster, but no lance. Try them all, right? Oh, man. I don't have tutor. Let me see. Tutor. Mm. We on the draw? Yeah. Maybe if I had a push. What is the hazelnut flower coming from? Yeah, just taking hazelnuts and grinding them to dust, you know. I mean, I'm assuming that's what they do for almond powder, right? It's just almond that they, uh, I wish I should have done Foxy's because of grief. Evil Void Walker Void Took Void Walker because I figured I can Foxy's to die evil later. But now we don't get to Bowmaster the Ragavan on turn two. Well, we can just suspend Tutor. But taking a bunch of Ragavan hits is pretty annoying. I'll just try it and see how it works out. So try it out first. Kind of okay, like the. Uh, wait, what happened? Oh, they, oh yeah, they have. Uh... So, what do you want me to do? Just no, no, I, I, I think maybe we should have taken the Undying Evil. But... Yeah, I forgot to buy the treasure. And now they have. No, just. Well, you can Thought Seize and you can push the Voidwalker or Ragavan. Get rid of the Undying Evil. What about this Bowmaster and a Ragavan? Then they just play on Dying Evil and get hit. And then they have a 3 2 Ragavan. Which maybe, yeah. Maybe okay. But... Yeah, maybe I'll just let them have another, another treasure. I mean, I'm scared because it's wandering in Karn territory. Well, they, they spent their treasure here. But yeah, they could hit something good. All right, I'll gamble. I believe without additional steps or ingredients, the hazelnut is technically considered a fat and won't work the way you want because it can't be ground fine enough without becoming a paste. Oh, you're thinking of grinding up your own hazelnuts and using that to replace the... Part of the almond flour to oh, give it okay. more of a hazelnut hazelnut taste. Mm -hmm. Or I could just chop a bunch of hazelnuts and do that plus chocolate chip cookie. Just adds basically. Yeah. The hazelnut is technically considered a fat, but what about the almond powder? That's something you buy, right? You didn't grind up almonds. Yeah, I bought it. It's like super fine. So I think if you grind up almonds, it will be similar because there's a lot of fat in the nuts. And then when you start grinding it, the fat like comes out um... and then turns the powder into a paste. Hmm. So then you have to like separate the the fat from the the powder. 
If you want more hazelnut, I would just get hazelnut extract and adding chopped hazelnut to the recipe. Okay. Oh, Ermorg. Land is nice. This Ermorg's not very good against Bowmaster. You mean Castle? Right? Yeah. Also, grinding ovens does not sound that easy. Well, it's grinding hazelnuts. Day off in my internet is out. Need to smack someone. Yikes. Well, were you gonna play them all? The worst hit for them, I guess. Oh, am I gonna be casting it? Yeah, I mean, they're Bowmaster. That Ragaman's kind of useless. Not that I know they have it. I guess they can start using Castle. Yeah. It should be okay, though. I think Grief would be pretty bad here. Yeah, I agree with that. Nothing is good though. Can draw main face. Um. Would they have played Bowmaster there over using Hassle? Probably not. No, probably not. Let's get coffers. Mm. Ooh, that's good. That was a really good draw, actually. Should I play one right first? Yeah, it's not Nike and March, uh, but Masters. Yeah, you're right. Maybe you want to do an upkeep now. We're going to add it right. I got tokens for smaller. They play me. Um, they can't attack with the token. They spend the mana on their turn. And then if they have like an undying spell, they spend the mana on their turn as well. That's uh better. Oh, they just don't have the bowmaster. Take this open is more reasonable. I just realized, do we have no Shieldred anywhere? I just, you know, we also don't have, uh, well, the destroy, uh... The liquid metal coating. Yeah. That cam view could be a pretty hard 90s rap album cover. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. There is a such thing as hazelnut flour, but it's more of a meal, not as fine as flour, and is useful in combination or used in combination with a more traditional flour because it doesn't bind as well as on, on its own. But yeah, that, that cookie recipe is just, it was super good. It's like people, it's, it's, they stay stuffed, and even days after, they're like so. Soft and chewy and a little crunchy. Really? You're able to get it chewy? Yeah. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, no, now, uh, the almond no powder. Gluten. Yeah. The almond powder is just... Almond, almond flour. And also what I use in the, the chocolate cake, the gluten-free chocolate cake. Even though apparently you can just remove flour, just the classic flour. It's just in butter, chocolate, and eggs, and sugar. So it works, but... Oh, no. Back my one ring, what will I ever do? And they even know I have double coin. Should I thought seize myself? And level her their face? Level. Wow, they didn't even let you thought seize yourself. I guess this is good in this matchup. Or is it truly? Really? 
It'd be worse than my other cards. A deadly cover up looks pretty bad. It's a little expensive, but sweepers are not that bad. Okay, sure. I can get behind that. How about discard spells? They don't seem that good either. Well, they they have all those undying spells, so they're okay. Yeah, but yeah, let's do that. I'll, I kind of like that. Just uh, discard spells. I don't even have points to. The gold strike seal. I still that it, that it was just so good. I just can't get it. The, the font of the dawn. Yeah. Everything about it is just so perfect. Does he have a, the Hollow Knight? He has a little coffee. Uh, this is my uh, coffee. Oh, it's yours. The, 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 yeah, that's my profile picture with the the hand and the the chocolate milk. Oh, it's chocolate milk. Yeah. I do have milk in cocoa powder? Like <laughs> yeah, sell the. Now I feel compelled. <laughs> like it cold or warm? Cold. All right. When I was a kid, I like cold, actually. Well, if it's hot, then it's hot chocolate. It's not, it's not chocolate milk. Oh, it's true. Sorry. My bad. Killing my... Your ignorance. Yeah. <laughs> does, it, does the powder just mix up easily when it's cold? Uh, yeah, you usually, like, make a paste, right? Oh, at the beginning, yeah. like, a bit, and then you got to melt. Yeah. Uh -huh. Smart. But if you want to do it the best way, you just get good chocolate and you melt it Ooh. and mix it with the milk, and then you can let it cool down or not. Do you ever go for these steps? It sounds like a lot of work for it. Sometimes, but rarely. <laughs> what's what's the go to chocolate? Oh god, uh, pretty good. Pretty good. What's it called? Uh, Cl Claudio Corolla Corollo. Someone in chat surely knows what I'm talking about. Is that one you find in Switzerland or in the U.S.? Or... You could find it in a number of places. There, there are a number of different like chocolate makers that are supplied yeah. by them. I know in the U.S. there's Allegio chocolate. Okay. But the main reason they're really good is they're they're one of these chocolate makers who uh, removes the stems from the cocoa beans by hand. Because the stems sort of go partially inside the pod and they have machines that like cut out the stems and the stems are bitter. Okay. Uh, but sometimes, you know, that the angle's wrong and it doesn't get all of the stem. Never and then the stem idea. just gets like ground up into the chocolate. Please don't tell me Adam is saying American vomit chocolate is good. Did I say Hershey's? Are you, are you like dumb? Bobzy, or, or are you deaf? I don't know what's going on over there in, in Britain. Uh, no. Claudio Corolla is not an American chocolate supplier. What's the name of the Detroit chocolate? I think there's one that's has its factories in Michigan. Sanders, I think. Leggio yeah. is an American chocolate maker but they're supplied by Ooh, Shelly. Oh I didn't suspend for fame tutor because that bow master and that is Shelly my face. Turn free Shelly. Did we want to play the bow masters? Don't we need yeah. the damnation in a couple turns? Yeah but Dev Braggerman I just need to chomp I think. I can't afford to just stake infinite hits. Oh I see. First row is nice. Imagine hating American chocolate because we actually use sugar when we make it. Everybody uses sugar, but chocolate makers use different binders, and some of them suck. Like a uh, lecithin, lecithin sucks. I would agree that in general, American chocolate is worse than the chocolate. Europeans ain't put sugar in shit. I mean, all these chocolates literally have the percentages on them. There's like, you know, 70%, 80%. That means the rest of it is sugar. 
and binders lint is lint british I don't even know actually Swiss German. I think it's Swiss. Lint's well, not great, it's fine. No. It's not great. It's better in Switzerland though. The, they have like an American factory and a Swiss factory. And then Brandon that brand get like put in like super fancy or something. Cow cow. And it's mm. fair trade and they make like the raspberry one, the raspberry dark, that one, oh no, that's dark cranberries. If anyone mm. has that brand, you should try it. It's just really, really good. It's nothing like too special, but it's just. Yeah, any chocolate producer or supplier who removes the stems by hand, it's going to be more expensive, but it's going to be better. So you're not going to get any bitterness. Just, is that even like feasible? Like, is that just removing stems by hands? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it, it's not like insanely expensive. Just got another coffer here, like a lot of mana for my car. And I get to go car and ring or another right? coffer is like six, mana? seven, eight, nine mana. Get yeah, rings. Yeah, I wonder how badly that. That ley line screwing them over. Are you gonna bake, Timu? What are you gonna bake? Pizzas are chocolate, but I want like a chocolate chip cookie. But Liz did bring back that cookie the other day. It's like he's a lot of lemon. And it was, she said it was like the best cookie she's ever had. And it was it was really really good. I will say. Beer and chocolate snob day in chat, yeah. When did we start talking about beer? I don't know. Now? Our team says, I'm, I'm kind of off chocolate because sweets are too powerful. I can't control eating them. I want to stay in good health, so I just basically cut all chocolate from my life. Yeah, I feel a bit of the same way. If it's in the house, I, <laughs> I'd slam it, but I don't know. I don't drink anymore or barely, very little, so you know, shit or something going to kill me. Like dark dark chocolate's probably like not too bad as far as sweets go for you. Cutting sugar is easy and then she because her taste buds adjust and normal food starts to stay sweet. Yeah, I've heard yeah, I that's kind of good about it. I don't know, I go through phases where I have more or less force of will to but Recently had Macaron from my for the first time, was like quite something. Oh yeah, what do you think about Macaron? Have you ever had the La Durée Macaron? Uh, not from whatever that place is. Yeah. I've had some good uh, Macaron, but uh, usually, usually I find them too sweet. Yeah, I don't think they're anything special. I think they're good, but I'm not like, wow. I think that... Um, like pastry makers get really impressed by other pastry makers who are able to make good uh, macaron because mm -hmm. apparently it's a little difficult. What are we arguing now? Tex-Mex? 
Do you ever hear me tell this story about how the chain, the Tex-Mex chain in France, it's called Indiana Cafe, which Indiana is in maybe the least Tex-Mex state in the, in the, if you had to pick a state in the US to like represent your Tex-Mex chain, like Indiana would probably be bottom of the list. But I guess it just sounds like it's weird too, because it's, it's Indiana and their logo is like an Indian with the like feathers and stuff. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, Indiana is not normally what you think of when you think of Tex-Mex. Yeah, no, it's... Oh, we're playing a mirror? Okay, Adam, what's your favorite curry? Mmm. It's gotta be butter chicken. They're all delicious. But... I still haven't made the butter chicken world-famous recipe for that one. Each... I keep forgetting. <laughs> the, the, the one that is like 20 million views. Yeah, yeah. Like you told me, you, you made it, right? I made it. It was fine. Just fine? I, I haven't made a bunch of different recipes so i don't have much to compare mm. but it turned out you know similar to what you would find in a restaurant yeah i wonder i think they still like this let me show you yeah. i also like the french tacos how they're just not tacos at they're, all they're like, <laughs> yeah they're like closer to burritos do they have to change their logo? Is that even like, would that even be considered like, you know, zero logo? I mean, why would they have to change it? Oh, is it like, I don't know, I think maybe like, yeah, no, I guess it's just, I mean, but Indian Indiana it has nothing to do with the state of India. It's just so weird, but it's like just classic French <laughs> in translation where Liz jokes sometimes that she could be like, wait, wait, what was that? What was the picture there? It's like Tex Mex, Indiana, and then, and then they've got croissant. <laughs> croissant and <laughs> Nutella. <laughs> Classic Jeez. French. All right, Adam, please. We have to focus. We both have a tutor, was one. We have a nerve org, I have a field of room, I have a coffers. I see no good reason to get rid of their herb org right now. Should we field over in their field over in now while we can? Um, so they're going to get coffers. They're going to have five mana. We can't really do anything about it. We can just cling something. Yeah, I I guess we should. What if I field over an herb or that doesn't really slow them down? It does, but it also slows us down, but maybe we, that's what we want. Yeah, it doesn't really slow them down. Yeah, I guess I was thinking about the, the Washington Post, but I guess that was literally right. They were using a slur as their team name, so it's different than just having an Indian as your symbol. I live in South Texas. I really hope it's safe to say we have the best tex -Mex. Probably. Were you here the other day when I showed the Otaku's monstrosities? That's the, that's the like, it's like the one, French tacos. It's like the biggest, I don't know if I think it's might be the, the, the chain that's growing the fastest. I mean, I hope not, but it's like, it's like this. Oh, I know. Donor kebab meat. That's what it looks like open. <laughs> Cheese. It's and like you basically fries. stuff whatever. <laughs> yeah. Stuff, fries, some cheese sauce or. That's what it kind of looks like. You pick your meat, you pick your sauce, you pick whatever, you just stuff it, and then it's like... The panini press. Yeah, it's got a wrap. Panini, yeah. panini wrap. Yeah, exactly. Fondue. Oh, oh God. I mean, it's it actually like... If the if you do that with like good ingredients, so probably it's like a huge thing like this is like five or six euros, so you know the quality of yeah. the meat and stuff is like just heinous. Yeah. But it's not the worst idea to just stuff a bunch of delicious things and No, it's like pretty good fast food. It's just not not related to tacos at all. No. The good tacos actually have good meat. I think the good tacos are like fake meat. They're like veg vegetarian. The goats. The greatest of all. Who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that? It has 
Live Vegetal Happy Boar. So yeah, so like fake. What is Happy Boar? It's like a brand, I think. It's okay. One of the fake meat brands, fake chicken. So it has a fake uh, chicken. It has a strawberry barbecue sauce. It has Yikes. crispy goat, which I guess is like crispy cheese. It has some onions, some crunchy onions. And then the the mythic duo the kinder could be the one in Henderson cheese sauce. over seven people cheese sauce was barbecue strawberry sauce <laughs> there's something on here the mythic duo <laughs> what could be <laughs> what no could see strawberry barbecue sauce being okay. No, I agree, but the mix was also cheese sauce. I don't know. It's like an, an ingredient or two too many. And you got the stone brain, you got the tech. Oh, they're gonna stone brain your carns. Jeez. That's annoying. Oh, and they got cling your cling in response. Oh my god, for the full blow up. Oh, I can. You just get Karn, right? Yeah. Probably the edict, right? But... When do I go with my Karn? Stone Brain for their Karn. <laughs> <that Karn>? okay. <laughs> I don't know. I have no way to get rid of it. Um, should I just get a big dummy? Mm, ring? Karn. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, okay, but if they minus their Karn to get something, then you can Bowmaster it. Let's fix the long game here. Do we freeze? Of all people. Otakos is kind of gross, but in a nice way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, That's I've had it before. I've had it a few times, and I think I kind of enjoyed it, but... There's so many better places. But if it's for like five or six years, I could see the pew when you're a student or a teenager. Just enormous amount of food for kids. It's like going to Chipotle. Yeah. Well, Chipotle is like double the price, though. Yeah. And I actually like reasonable ingredients. Taco Bell fans, Taco Bell's Liz's favorite. Taco Bell, I enjoy Taco Bell. I haven't had Taco Bell in like 20 years. Really? Yeah. 20 years? But you're you're like you're like under 30, right? Yeah, 28. You never had Taco Bell in like college or I mean in, in high school or no. Nope. What was your go-to fast food in high school? Um or middle school. We went to Five Guys. Yeah, Five Guys, guys already? Often. Well, it must yeah. be nice. Oh, guys, it's pretty decent. A little expensive. Yeah. They have one on the Champs Elysees now. Oh, really? I, I didn't realize yeah, that. I, I, we passed in front of it. We drove in front of it the other day. They have one in Lausanne for insane prices. They have one in Gaudino. Yeah. Like in the building of oh, Gaudino. Wow. They, have, they have the first Popeyes across the street of Gaudino. Uh -huh. If you like, it's actually pretty good. Five guys, I think they have probably like five or six now in Paris. Yes. yes. There's one at Opera. They have one at La Défense. They have one at Gaudino. Opera. The prices in Switzerland are just insane, though. Yeah, it's pretty expensive. Yeah, I think it's like 15 euros for a menu or something. Oh, for, for a menu? No, we would pay like $18 for just the burger. Yeah. In Lausanne? Yeah. Wow. That is really expensive. Oops. Am I working at EPFL? No, I graduated. EPFL is the Lausanne University. It's the university I was at. There are a few in Lausanne. There's uh, just University of Lausanne. There's a, actually like a famous hotel school there. Mm, I think maybe my cousin went there. It's like the most most reputable, like most famous. Yeah, it, it, it's one of the best, if not the best. I don't know much about it. EPFL is one of the better um, like STEM 
universities in Switzerland. It's like EPFL, and a lot of people have heard of ETH Zurich, but not as many have heard of EPFL. What do you think? Should I get rid of their coffers or should I cling their cling? It's more pressing. Mm. They're probably, probably going to stone brain me. They might stone brain me and have the mana for cling. But if I let them on tap with Scoffer, I already got Sondra and can, Titan. They can get eight mana. Yeah, I need mean, to get their Coffer. They can get nine mana just by playing a land. So I don't have much of a choice. I'm giving them the mana stone bring me now. I guess I should have done it in their upkeep. Planes? <laughs> what, what is that? I don't know what's, what's a bad matchup for coffers. I know Kron's not that good. Oh, I know Titan's not that great. White mana. Does anyone know what the I... white... Maybe Timmy knows? He knows every... He's played every version of Coffers. I've seen some versions with Reprieve, but I feel like we would have seen more white mana. They would have Reprieve. Good morning, Malex. Spike had a Reprieve. Okay. Any Jiro fans in chat? Yeah, I'm a pretty big... Well, I don't know about pretty big. We had Suvlaki plays that closed on the streets. That sounds. That the best Greek sandwiches. Reprieve perch sideboard. My con is so poor it bugged me. Oh wow. I think they like didn't remove any cards. Was there a stone brain? I guess I'll pressure them. Afraid of damnation. I think the RTJ is really ACL. Should I suspend Tutor or should I keep for Kling? It's probably didn't just Kling on my turn. I guess Kling triggers Bowmaster twice, not that scary. Halal? I mean, Halal is just a, what they do to the meat, like they like bless the meat or whatever. So that is this have to do with they live in New York City, so when they say halal, they mean like the halal carts. Have you ever been there? Oh, yeah, yeah. That but those could be hot dogs and stuff, right? Yeah, but usually they, they're talking about like a, a platter oh. with like either falafel or oh, chicken okay. or, or lamb. Yeah. One, two, five, one man off Titan. Playing even if it gives me a Bowmaster trigger, maybe I just forgot about it. Yeah, they should be doing it. Well, all is effed up. It should be banned in Turkish. What? It's like literally nothing. It's the same food, right? It's just like been blessed or something by an imam. I could be wrong. For halal, they bleed out. You don't kill them first. I don't know. I just haven't looked into it. Maybe, maybe it is cruel, who knows, but maybe it's not. I'm guessing most of the meat you eat, if you eat meat, the animals are not treated great. And, but I don't, I will say I don't know the specifics. I, I heard about it not long ago. And it was like, it's actually a debate in French politics. It's like one of the ways the far right wing has to like say why Justify their uh, their takes. Star F clink. Most halal animals are stunned and killed quickly. There was one pair of video from a few years ago, Peta pushed insanely hard and it got picked up by far right groups and Islamophobes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just Islamophobes who say like to like make them look bad and say their like culture is worse and this and that. Yeah, I just don't know enough yeah. to, to really say. Also like bleeding out may not be a torturous death. You sort of just like lose consciousness, right? Yeah, I mean, that the whole argument is kind of, like, absurd, like... Yeah. 
drawn in full grip. This is fine. Where's my field of room? Carbon monoxide is the most humane way to slaughter animals. Could be. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of my point. There's that's... no human way to kill animals if you're overly concerned about animal welfare, go vegan. Yeah, it's like. Yeah, it's kind of nonsense. Just like. No matter what they do to them, it will turn the stomach of a normal person to see it. I, uh, there, it's like a personal philosophy of mine that I think that once you're an adult, you should not eat meat unless you're able to kill Reach a chicken, at least. <laughs> Is that some, uh... Hey, thanks for the resub. Appreciate it. Oh, I guess bonus was gonna be... I mean, that's kind of insane they did that, because I might just play a car and you just talk with these stars they call snack. Yeah. Never lucky. <laughs> Once you turn 18, you can go to the DMV and slaughter a chicken to get your meat-eating license. If I were in charge, yeah. <laughs> Something like that. You're a vegetarian. That's good. But yeah, I'm pretty sure you're just kind of using far right-wing talking points that are just... that don't really make sense. I would be skeptical that halal leads to like torturing of the animals. Yeah. Uh, I, but I don't know enough about it. I mean, either way, it's probably like all really bad. And, like, they didn't do that now, so the next nice red chum lock. And here, I, mean, I need to draw a land and play car and chum. I think with Karn and these one rings, you can overpower most of this stuff. As long as they don't draw their own. Uh... The deepest thing butchers have for the animals are killing. I mean, I don't know, man. They're, they're like, you're still like breeding. I mean, I guess they could have like some people who could treat them all their, their life. It's... I mean, this is. We they have their own car now. Yeah, I try to avoid eating. The whole story was me asking for cookies. By the way. Do you want to march the walking ballista first? Let's kind of make a little check out of this game. Oh, I guess I can march car. I don't want to scoop, but I'm not sure. I'm sure I'm dead. I don't like it. Yeah, that was silly. I should have. Don't think it's really making a difference. But... Maybe I'm not dead somehow. I'm, I'm just going to scoop. <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm not winning this game. It seems okay. Push that. Me stone bring on the play is good. I think this topic of animal cruelty is a bit too divisive for chat. We should switch topics to. I don't know. Abortion. <laughs> we, have, we have that American white show coming up soon. Yeah, cheese. What do you mean cheese? It's, it's gonna be best. rough. It's gonna be rough times. Wait, they're mulling to fight like strong shit. I have noticed strong mullings way less than they used to. Multi four. Art low cards in I think in an hour on arena and I never know on Magic Online how it, when the draft starts and whatnot. I prefer really not to 
But like what the bad land that you... Like if I speak, I am in, in big trouble. In big trouble. And I don't want to be in big trouble. Stirrings or scrying? Let's take In case I run out of this card spell. But the one we are about. Well, it doesn't matter how bad the Libertarian Party is, because if you vote for them, your your vote just goes into a black hole. Yeah. I feel your disagreements. <laughs> All right, I think we're going to be demolished for. How about sport goats? So like some like goat fighting sport. Okay, I think sorry. Oh yeah, who's getting to draft her? Who's getting who's getting to pick her first? Why do I get your card or one ring? Like five? Something better I can get. I do find it funny when people say stuff like uh your vote doesn't matter in America, they're two sides of the same coin, like Trump and Biden could not po <laughs> could not possibly be like further apart. Yeah. Yeah. I mean on some stuff. In temperament yes. and in like policy as well. There's some policies where they're somewhat close right now, unfortunately, but like the border, maybe not as bad though. Yeah, the border, I guess, on, on the border, they're, they're more different <laughs> just in temperament. And yeah. Trump just screams about the border and Biden, you know. I mean, Trump's just, you know, he's just, just more a, of a statesman. He's the biggest con man in the, he is like the greatest con man in the history of the world. Gotta give him credit for that. He's a very good showman. Yeah. Maybe I'll just do Field of Ruin first. What am I worried about if I play Karn, though? This stubs their entire deck, right? I guess just like Ugin. Tron, Karn Ugin. Liberated. I guess Ugin. Seems like you should just play it. I should have not played it first, though. I would have done more, more damage if I was going to play it. Yeah. Minus one damage. Alright, I'm bo I'm boarded in Stone Brain, so I have nothing left. Nothing good left. And a leveler, right? Or, Somewhere I guess you can kill. Double Stone Rain. Yeah, you can kill two lands with this. That's pretty good. I mean, levels are still better, though. Yeah, there's no coding. I'm not sure. I guess in practice, maybe you don't need it that often. Just codings kind of win more. There's differences, but there's also a lot of overlap of upper class interests cross party lines. Yeah, I think there's some stuff by them wants to do but can't do but he's he he has like raised the tax on the richest people and corporates well, but, also, but a lot of it is just back to pre-trump levels i think a lot of it is like what was under obama and then it went down under trump and then now it's back to like pre-trump so it's still not great but i i don't know if the trump tax cuts have expired yet but um I don't know if I would agree that the overlap is all about like upper class interests. Like for example, on immigration, I think it's it's more about lower class interests actually. Uh, like wealthier people are not bothered by more immigrants coming into the country, but like pushing down wages is something that uh, yeah. bothers you know, lower income people. This hand probably can't win, but at least I have a field of running in the coin and they don't have a great hand. I think they kept seven. Yeah.
Upper class interests refer to the same big sources of money funding both parties, e.g. APAC. Bro just has no idea about how much money APAC spends versus other interests. I mean, APAC is like tiny compared to other spending across all levels. Union spending. Hey, Melancholy. Thank you so much. 71 months with a tier one. You're one of the quieter. Melon, thanks a, thanks a ton. What's more fretting, random card to hit up strings or a Worm Cool Engine? Worm Cool Engine's kind of a problem right now. Some upper class people are not concerned with immigration for economic purposes. Right, that's what I'm saying. Wealthy people are very worried about immigration. That's just not true. They get, they get like cheaper labor supply. I think there's some like both sides are bad that are that's not equivalent. When you say dark money, I feel like the Republican takes way more. I mean, some people and them, some Democrats do take money from like lobbies and stuff, but uh, I guess I'm gonna be biased. But... Well, every. Every politician, you know, is helped by spending uh, from different interest groups on on both sides. Uh, not all funding just goes. Not all funding just goes to campaigns. You've got, you know, uh, all these groups spending on um, on ads. You know, these super PACs. Yeah. And they get funded by all sorts of all sorts of stuff. I disagree with a lot of what people say about how it's it's the money that corrupts the. The politicians. I mean, I think money does corrupt people, or it sort of incentivizes them in different directions. But I think it goes the other way more, where interest groups will spend on the politicians that have you know, expressed opinions that are are beneficial to them. So if the politician says they're pro union, then they're going to get more money from unions, and then if if they're more Pro Second Amendment, they're going to get more funding from Second Amendment interest groups, and they're not like getting bought off to express different uh, different opinions. Yeah, we're we talking about politics because it's fun. <laughs> yeah, politicians can see what gets interest spending on them, uh, so they respond to that surely. Yeah, I think that's the the more important thing, but it's not like at the individual level; it's at like the party level. Like they say, okay, we've got a lot of interest groups spending in this area, and so we need to feel the candidate who's going to be more aligned with those opinions. Yeah, a lot of politicians uh, see it as their job to take the positions that their constituents prefer. Right. But they also don't like consider the constituents just who provides the money. I think... I think people are sometimes a little bit too cynical about politics, which like it's obviously easy to get <laughs> cynical yeah. about politics and for good reason, but sometimes people go a little too far. Yeah. I mean, it's true. Like most politicians, most politicians are just insane egomaniacs. And yeah, that's for sure. Literally that's what <laughs> politics are like, I think I can save my country or I can think I can make it. Like you've got to have like, there's like Bernie Sanders. There's like one in a hundred that are like not like Daphne, like, you know, maybe Bernie Sanders and a few others, but like. Yeah, also, I think you know, politicians who stay um, like in Congress or at, at the top levels for a long time, they become cynical. Yeah. Am I now a doctor? I don't know if I can say that, if I can say legally that I'm a doctor because they mailed me my diploma and I don't have it yet. So. In Germany, I think that uh, I, would, I, I would legally not be allowed to call myself a doctor. Uh, what am I supposed to get here? What might matter? They have six guards. I mean, we can't really cast much right now we, no i we could take to... the one ring or i could speculate and take one of the big dummies 
Well, what can happen to our Karn? They can play their own Karn. Yeah, and then what do they get with own Karn? They get... Um, leveler, probably. Or, or walking ballista. Okay, what's the best against Karn leveler? I do have demolition. Well, the walking ballista they can't activate. They can only attack. Yeah, I'll just give the one rank. In Germany, you need to defend and publish your thesis to call yourself a doctor legally. No, you you have to have the diploma. My brother is uh, in Germany, and he recently got his PhD. <laughs> so they they talked about that. But it's not that serious. It's more like, you know, if you like advertise yourself as a doctor in some capacity, then you can get in trouble. I've never heard the term defensio before, like today, I think. Defensio. Like when you defend your thesis, right? Because Viana is also oh. on his PhD, I think. Usually I just hear thesis defense or, or like. Maybe it's an Italian word? PhD defense. Yeah, I'm not in Germany, so I'm in Switzerland, or I was. What happened, Ugin? Ugin Bolt? Shell, sure, you got it, buddy. I have that one more time. Do we have pitting needle anywhere? No. Looks like pitting stone. Our, our con is gone. They did Bernie in 2020. Um, no, 2016. They... No, no. Oh yeah, that was yeah, that was 2016. Yeah, what he's saying as well. They really did Bernie dirt, dirty in 16. Yeah, that's true. Probably he probably would beat Trump too. That mm. was like. That's pretty unlikely. Really, really. I think he was like fine. Though. Well, maybe. I think, uh, he, I think he would have. Beat just, Trump. just don't know. Just the dynamics. I mean, he was Trump. close and people hated so Hillary. Yeah, that's true. It was so close. He probably could have beaten Trump. That's possible. But he's not, like, taken as seriously as Hillary Clinton is. No. He's seen as a bit more of, like, a, a crank, but... Pretty big Bernie fan. 2020, they also did in 30. Yeah, they they changed the order of some of the states in the primary, I think, because they wanted to build momentum for for Biden. Do you want to show off your Hollow Knight skills, or do oh you my want to God. do some?